right, so first I'm going to take, this is the ColourPop Brow Boss. Not my favorite brow pencil. It is just something I am currently using and trying to finish to get out of my stash. Because, yeah. <laughs> Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just the original one. Again, not my favorite eyeshadow primer, just the one I'm working on. It is almost done though. <laughs> I think they're either five pan. Yeah, they're the little five pan palettes. I have I bought a bunch of them. Um, I don't know which one I want to use, but I only want to use one because I like trying to see if I can create a look using only one little palette. Just so that I know, like, if I'm going away overnight or something, I can just throw that palette in my bag. So we're going to figure out which one we want to use. So after opening up all of the palettes, I think I've decided to go with the ColourPop Statement piece. This one is very corally slash orangey, and it just looked like a fun shade to use. It's such a nice summery, not summery, springy day outside today, and these are really calling my name. So we're going to use this palette today. So first things first, I'm going to take the Royal and Lang Nickel. This is the Super Crease Brush and the shade Blair, which is this one right here. It's the lightest of the coral shades in this palette. And I'm gonna put that kind of like all over my crease. My other crease royal and lang knuckle brush and the shade hoops which is the one that has the fleur de lis in it it's upside down but it's there i promise and i'm gonna kind of blend out blend this into the um shade that i just used so it's a little bit of a deeper coral <laughs> take the shade Chainmail, which is this like electric-y orange shade right down here. And this is a Jeffree Star brush with Morphe. This is the JS12 brush. It's one of my favorite shades to pack pigment onto the outer corner. And so I'm going to take that shade Chainmail and I'm really going to pack that on the outer corner. Um, taking it into like the outer third of my lid as well. this shade in the middle called Love Lock and I'm gonna use my finger my ring finger and pat that onto the lid <laughs> take the Luxie 246 precision crease brush and I'm gonna kind of put that same shade love lock on the inner corner area all right so now I'm gonna take this is my truly uh, Mary Jane CBD face glow serum and it's gotten to the point where there's like not much left so I have to I can't really use the dropper anymore um, so I kind of just have to dump a little bit in my hands. I'm just going to put that all over the face. Next, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Puff Puff. 
Puff Primer. This is one of their CBD um, infused primers and I haven't tried this before, trying it for the first time. So we're gonna take some of this and use it today. Ooh, it's a little thicker than I anticipated. It does feel really nice though. So because I have a little situation going on down there, I'm going to use, this is something I always use, not new. Um, this is the LA Pro Conceal. This is the green color corrector. And I'm just gonna put that on some of these special little areas down here. As you can see, this doesn't take down the redness completely. This is okay. Um, I don't think I would purchase it again. I'd probably try something different. But so because of that, I'll go in with the other LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is just like the concealer shade. Um, this is the shade Porcelain. <music> spots just before foundation just helps to give um, a little bit more cover up if you're looking for that sort of thing and right now I am um, the next thing I'm gonna go in with this is the Becca under eye brightener corrector I love this stuff it really really truly does brighten your under eyes um, yesterday I did my makeup for work and just went super super minimal because I had had um, needle therapy, and so I was super sore, and never even put concealer on, realized that after, but I just used this in foundation, and it just, it works so well. This I will miss when Becca is gone. Um, I need to stock up, but it's so hard to stock up because I feel like everybody's doing the same thing, um, because every time I go into Ulta or Sephora, it's gone. So today I'm going to try a new foundation. I've tried some of the Makeup Forever foundations. I've tried the powder foundation and the stick foundation. I am in the shade R230, but this is their Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. And I wanted to try this and see if it was comparable to the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. And so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use, this is a Pixie by Petra Full Cover Foundation Brush. And just put a little bit on. Upon first application of this, it's not entirely like my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. Um, it does have an interesting smell to it. Um, and the coverage is definitely there. It's definitely, definitely more of a buildable coverage. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see. So next I'm going to take, this is my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Again, this isn't new. It's also just the concealer that I'm working on. And I'm just going to hit the inner under eye. I'm also going to hit that little patch again. So this is something relatively new to me. This is the Becca... Oh god, what is the name of this? Set and Refresh Powder, the Hydra Mist Powder, and I've used this a couple times. I like the way it feels on the under eye. 
So we're going to use that today. And I'm taking my Royal and nope, this is my Real Techniques setting brush and just putting this strictly under the eyes. So I had started noticing that my under eye area was looking really dry if I wasn't setting it. And it just wasn't looking the greatest. So I ended up going out and purchasing this and like my under eye area, I'll set that too. My under eye area just looks so much better when I use this as opposed to like a normal powder. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes and because I picked more of a corally shade, I think I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Bourbon 24 seven eyeliner um, on my waterline. And I'm gonna blend that out using the shade Hoops, which is the one with the Fleur de Lis. And I'm also gonna use, this is an Urban Decay Naked brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Blair. This is that lightest shade in the palette using my Ipsy Tetris brush and just blend those two together under the eye. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D or KVD Trooper eyeliner in the shade Black. my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and do my top and bottom lashes. So I have two cream blushes and I'm not entirely sure which one I want to use. So I have the blush from the Natasha Denona um, Blush Cheek Love Duo. And then I also have a Cheek Do from ColourPop. Um, this is in the shade Hotline. So I have this one and I have this one both kind of similar. Um, I feel like this one's a little bit more pinky. So I think I'm actually going to go with the Natasha Denona. Why not, right? I bought it, may as well use it. So because I'm going in with a cream blush, I want to put that on before I put any more powder on my face. So we're going to do the blush first. Oh my, this might be really pigmented on accident. So I'm going to bounce that on my hand a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put this is my this is my royal nope this is my real technique stippling brush and i'm just gonna put my blush on first this is really pretty and it's very very natural and subtle i really like it now i'm actually going to set my face this is the ciate Watermelon Burst Translucent Extraordinary pow Powder. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in the cap and use my Real Techniques setting brush. And I put that all over my face. Next I'm gonna take, this is a Wet n Wild contour palette. Oh my, this is old. Uh, this is the Dolce de Leche, I believe it's called, yeah, Dolce de Leche contour palette. And I'm going to take the contour shade and just contour my cheeks out a little bit. And then because I went a little too hard with that, I'm going to take the light side, the highlight side, with my Luxie 504 large angled contour brush and just blend down a little bit. So now I'm gonna take the, this is a blush, but I'm actually gonna use it as a bronzer. Um, this is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade Jet Set. Um, so this is one of the new ones. And I'm gonna use, this is a Real Techniques brush, um, but it's it applies like very lightly and I'm just going to kind of set 
that all on the areas that I want bronzed. <laughs> And I probably should have done this before powder, but I'm going to use the Super Shock Highlighter. This is the Candy Floss from ColourPop. Um, I forgot that this was a creamy formula, so I'm hoping this won't pick up my foundation. But I'm just going to kind of dab that with my finger, just on the high points. And it seems to be okay. This is a very, very, like pinky, glittery Super Shock Shadow. Very, very glittery. Oh my. It's pretty, just not what I expected. And because it was like a creamy kind of formula, I'm actually going to use that Natasha Denona highlight from the Cheek Duo palette and put that on top of it. Next, I'm going to go in with a product I never use. Um, just because it's in a project pan, I'm trying to get rid of it. But this is the Too Faced Lip Insurance, and I'm going to put this on my lips. This is a lip primer, which I do believe it is almost gone. Next, I'm going to take one of the Buxom. This is new. Um, the concept isn't new, but the shade is. I believe the shade is. Anyway, this is the Buxom Full-On Lip Cream. I'm just gonna put that on my lips. Um, this is the shade Bahama Mama. It's from, like, the new Tropical-y collection. Very, very tropical scented and smelling. So that's cool. And lastly, I am going to set my face using the Jeffree Star Morphe collab of the Morphe setting, br setting spray. And it's, I can't wait till this is done. Um, it's just, it's too fruity and just has a weird smell. And so all day in my mask, that's all I smell. <laughs> However, I do love the Morphe setting spray because it is one of my favorites and it is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Um, was there any products you wanted to try? Anything that you love? Anything you're, like, on the fence about? Um, personally, that foundation, I wasn't entirely 100% committed to. Um, it's okay. I'm used to the Pro Matte Infallible, which matches me perfectly, and it's just so full coverage not used to having to build up a foundation like that um so i was a little disappointed with that however it doesn't look terrible but anyway thank you guys so much for watching please comment like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye <laughs>